Hey guys, I've got a very important Apple update that I wanted to talk to you guys about, including iOS 12, some new features that are coming to it, which have been detailed, its actual release date at Worldwide Developers Conference, some new Apple products that are coming out just next month, which I'm very excited for, and more. So let's get into it, what's happening right now with Apple. Now to begin with, we may actually know the announcement date of iOS 12, which happens at Worldwide Developers Conference. Mac Rumors has actually done some detective work and actually looked into the schedule of the McEnery Convention Center, which was where Apple hosted WWDC 2017, and they found that it's reserved for all but one week, which they predict is when Apple would choose to host WWDC 2018, and that's June 4th to June 8th. And this actually lines up with past events. It would start on a Monday and on a Friday, and Apple usually hosts in the first half of June, so it definitely adds up, and all other dates during that month are reserved already. Of course, Apple hasn't went out and made an official announcement with their teaser promos, which I do imagine they will be doing within the next couple of months, but that is a pretty good estimate. So June 4th could be the date we see the first beta of iOS 12, and I'll be digging through it for all those new features. Super excited about that. And in the same vein, so Mark Gurman of Bloomberg has published a new report detailing what will and won't be coming to iOS 12. And there are some new features that haven't been mentioned anywhere else that he did talk about. So to begin the report, he did mention that Apple is shifting to a two-year roadmap where they'll be adding features they wanted to in iOS 12 to iOS 13 later next year. So there will be a lot of features originally envisioned for iOS 12 that will not be happening until next year. And he did talk about those as well, but let's begin with with what will be happening. Of course, stability. Apple will be fixing the awful reputation they have for iOS being a laggy and buggy mess. So to begin with, they will sort that out. Next up, and emojis will be coming to FaceTime. So you'll be able to actually have an entire FaceTime conversation wearing a mask or an emoji on your face. That leads me to believe that maybe this will be used for some sort of anonymous uses, who knows? Maybe the other person won't even be able to see your face during the entire FaceTime call if you so choose. And deep Deeper integration with Siri in the search function of iOS is planned to happen in iOS 12. And I'm not saying that this is going to happen, but I could see Apple revamping Siri completely because that's the HomePod's biggest flaw. Siri is so limited, she can't do much in comparison with the competitors. And as a whole, Siri is really, really behind. So Apple needs to update that. And I could see them doing that in iOS 12 without it being a huge deal that Apple would have to delay it until next year. So I do hope that happens, but it definitely has not been confirmed. But a Siri deeper search integration is rumored for iOS 12. And do not disturb improvements will be happening as well, where you'll be able to silence certain notifications or reject phone calls automatically in iOS 12. And something nobody asked for, a redesigned stocks application. Meanwhile, there is no calculator app on the iPad whatsoever or weather. So still waiting on those, but Apple is redesigning stocks for iOS 12. Also, multiplayer for augmented reality based games. You'll be able to enjoy the future with your friends using using augmented reality in multiplayer. And Mark Gurman did confirm that the cross-platform app thing is still happening, where you'll be able to use iPhone, iPad, or macOS apps on all three and switch between them and still have it be the same app, whether it's touch-based or mouse-based. So I think that's definitely a really cool concept, and I'm glad to see that Apple is sticking with it. And these are the features that Mark Gurman detailed Apple will be removing from iOS 12 and featuring in iOS 13 next year. So first off, a redesigned home screen, different icons, maybe an all the interface altogether. Either way, it's about time because we've had pretty much the same look since iOS 7. Yes, the icons change here and there, but overall, it's still basically the same look and I'd like to see it change. Unfortunately, that will not be happening until next year. Also, a redesigned CarPlay interface for your car. I really like the fact that Apple could change the look of your in-car entertainment uh, area without you having to buy a new car. So I would have liked to see that update. Even though I don't have a CarPlay enabled car, it still would have been cool to to see. And tabbed apps on iPad. This was supposed to be a huge thing for iPad. Also, where you can use two pages from the same app in split screen on iPad. There was supposed to be a huge overhaul to the iPad interface. We won't be seeing that until next year, unfortunately. And get ready because new emojis are coming to the iPhone. Unicode 11.0 has been published with 157 new emojis and other improvements, namely hair. So you'll be able to adjust the hair of certain characters from bald to sideburns. There's a lot. And it's actually really cool, this customizability. You can adjust the hair color as well. 
Now, aside from that, there are a ton of new emojis in iOS 12 or Unicode 11.0, which is likely to come to iOS 12. And the focus pretty much is on items and food, maybe some animals in there as well. In particular, my favorites have to be the amoeba, the DNA strand, and the pirate flag. Actually, a lot of them that should have been in the Unicode language already, I'm glad to see being adopted. And another update coming to iOS 12, thanks to Unicode 11.0, are reversible emojis. So you'll actually be able to transform them to face the other way thanks to this new update of Unicode. So that's iOS 12. Those are the features that are rumored to come and not come to this year's release. So I can't wait to get the beta and dig through it, find all those small changes as well. But those are the biggest ones. And Apple has actually publicly addressed the new text message crash bug using the Indian character. And they said that, of course, it will be fixed in iOS 11.3, but they will also be releasing a small update to fix it imminently. And I'm guessing that'll be iOS 11.2.6, which we'll be releasing early next week. Uh, definitely something Apple should have patched the same day because jailbreakers already have a patch they could fix and have it installed right away instead of waiting half a week to get this issue fixed. Definitely something that Apple should have done, I think, right away. And two new Apple products, which I'm very excited for, are coming next month. Air Power and the AirPods wireless charging case. According to the Apple Post, they're citing sources from within Best Buy. Apple will be releasing these products at the same time as Best Buy late next month in March. And I'm very excited for them, in particular, the AirPower wireless charging mat, because I just think it'll be a much cleaner solution. I have several wireless charging stands on my nightstand for the Apple Watch and my iPhone. So it would definitely be better to have an all-in-one solution. And that should be coming next month. They also did say that the wireless charging case for the AirPods will only be sold as a standalone item at Apple. At Best Buy, you'll be able to buy them with AirPods included. So not just the case if you already have your standard one. Also, prices, which which were earlier rumored to be $69 for the standalone wireless charging case for the AirPods and $199 for the AirPower mats. Definitely don't know if that's worth it, but those are the rumored prices. The last thing I wanted to mention is an iPhone 10 mini mod. This isn't something new, but I just came across it and it definitely caught my interest because of how weird it was, definitely. So this is an iPhone 5 neutered to look like an iPhone 10, and I definitely think it did a pretty good job at that. Now the bad news is there is no charging port, which is what's rumored to happen to Apple's future iPhones. You'll just be able to use the wireless charging feature, uh, no open ports on it whatsoever. Also, there is no speaker, no earpiece. A lot of the main features from it have been removed in order to get it into this very compact form. Also, the top portion of the iPhone has been cut off entirely the glass so it still works you don't have a home button either there's assistive touch for the home button and you can't charge it so you have to replace the battery on its own but hey it's a very unique project i like how it looks and i think i might actually want to do it just for the heck of it because i think it looks so interesting this guy actually has a long history of modifying phones in a very similar manner so i thought that was quite cool all right guys so that's it some info on ios 12 which i'm getting more and more excited about ios 11.2.6 will be coming here imminently and new Apple products next month. So great little update for you guys. Stay tuned. Peace.